What's up guys, it's Seema Iyank here. I'm not sure how to do this, but um, I'm a pro natural dot bodybuilder in the WNBF. Um, I worked with 3DMJ back in 2014, 2015. Uh, won a pro show, or actually I won a show, got my pro card. Um, got second in a pro show in Canada, went to WNBF Worlds and got fifth in the world with heavyweights. So that was dope, that was the coolest thing in my bodybuilding career. Um, but I learned a lot from Alberto Nunez, who's uh, the guy that taught me a lot of stuff about posing him, Jeff Alberts, uh, the whole 3DMJ team. So yeah, so I work with bodybuilders and powerlifters. It's really fun, had a lot of fun posing with Mark here. And um, I do jujitsu too, that's what I really love doing now. And yeah, that's me, that's wow. it. Gotcha. It's a little bit easier if you're like on your toe a little oh, bit okay. to flex that right hamstring. Oh yeah. It's a little bit easier and then that, that left leg's gonna be flat. And that needs a little bit of more out to the right, just a little bit. Don't move the foot, don't move the foot out, just twist the knee a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's all for the quad sweep. Once oh, you do that, I'm pulling myself towards the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. Yep. Let's see your hamstrings. Good. Keep on the hamstrings. Don't let that tension go away because I can see them right now. There's, a, there's lines there. That's awesome. Keep your chest high. Push that down a little bit. Don't squeeze these together. Good. Keep on the hamstrings. Hold this for 10 seconds. I want you to remember how this feels because your hamstrings are crazy right now, Mark. That. <laughs> 10 more pounds and you're, you're like, yeah, 10, 12 more pounds you're in. All right, five more seconds. Hold this. Keep on the hamstrings. Four. Three, two, one. So side chest. Same. All right, so side chest, in some classic physique shows, they have you go all the way around and do side chest on both sides. In some classic physique shows, they're like side chest of choice. So side chest, same kind of thing. You're trying to get this hamstring. So if you're on this side, you're gonna be here, all right? And this, this toe's gonna be up, the weight's gonna be on this foot. But the thing you're trying to do, you don't actually wanna flex your hamstring on this side. Because notice if I flex my hamstring, my hamstring actually looks smaller. If I relax my hamstring, oh. I push, I'm taking the teardrop oh, of this foot, I'm pushing it in here to make that hamstring pop out more. And this is relaxed. So if I just push this in here, Look how much bigger the hamstring looks. So you basically just, uh, kind of the old, this move, right? Like, like yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, it's yeah, that yeah, move, yeah, it's yeah, that yeah. move. Yeah. Except right here, you're not gonna flex this so it stays hanging, and then you push this into it. See, smoke is all tricks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been working too hard. Yeah. But if you, if you actually flex this hamstring, then it gets smaller. So you don't wanna flex it. So gotcha. push it in, get your chest up, and then you're gonna be here. So you don't want to push in. A lot of guys do stuff like that, you want to get your chest up and you want to come here. Now, the reason why I'm turning here is because I'm still doing the X frame thing. If you notice, shoulder to shoulder is heavy and then I have a small waist and then I'm wide here. So that's why I come here instead of like doing all this stuff. So your so hips are facing the wall. My hips and are you're facing the wall. Trying to square this way. I'm trying to square Basically. this way so my shoulders are wide and then this is the chest that they're trying to see. I so it's you. here. Oh. So we're going to do the upper body first. Yeah. And then we're gonna work on adding the lower body into it. So just keep your hips facing this way. Gotcha. And then we're gonna do- These are kind of close together. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then was I, this foot did more this way? We're, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna be standing right now. Okay. We're not gonna do the whole crouching thing yet. Okay. We're gonna stand and we're just gonna do the upper body so you can get the hang of how the upper body okay. feels. And then we're gonna go and do all the hamstring stuff. And your hands? Yeah, so. If I'm doing this side, I'm like this. That hand over yeah, oh. I'm like this. I turn here. Gotcha. Good. Try and turn it just a little bit more here. Good. Ooh. And now this is going to be, pull this down a little bit, this elbow. Push it into your pec a little bit more. Flex your pec while you're pushing in. Good. You're just trying to be as wide as possible here. So turn even a little bit more. Good. Now, one thing I want to do is instead of being up here, I want you to pull this down just a little bit. So don't don't bring your shoulders down, just bring your forearm down a little bit. So that, because when your abs are leaner, you'll be able to see all of that. Actually, up out, just, just a little bit up. 
A little bit more. Good. Hold that for 15 seconds. Hold everything there for 15 seconds. That's, that's good. Make sure that's pushing into that right peck. Good. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah. And we'll do both sides just to see which side is better. So that if they say side of choice, right. we'll either be doing this side or we'll be doing the other side. Hey, Jess. Down. Yeah. A little, you, you gotta, so you don't have to get down more than that. So it's kind of like you're sitting, you're sitting back into it with your here so that you can get more action. So look at yourself in the mirror. Right now you're, you're very upright. We gotta get here. And all the balance is on your right leg. That might be one of the right leg. You're balancing on the right leg because that's the flat leg. Good. Just get down just a little bit more in the hips. Let's not even worry about this right now. No. Yeah. And then remember this is going to be trying to push into that hamstring to push that hamstring out. really want you to do something like that that's a very classic pose so you don't it's gonna yeah and you gotta figure out what's good for that right but that would be the the, the main thing like that's what he's talking about bill does like what he'll do is like he'll hold his breath yeah, and then it's like break the alice goes Bonk! and then his like, shoulders shoulder yeah stuff, and like, shoulders okay, veins no. everything pops out yeah. but he does that towards the middle of holding the pose right. so that he's still not running out of breath you know uh, oh. thank you so much my man that was yeah. fun yeah just gotta just make sure to Practice and then hold those poses, yeah. like poses every day, and you're gonna be good. And then lots of, uh, lots of practice. Yeah, and then just like make sure your transitions are fairly. The fluid. practice will help you get leaner, though, too, probably, huh? It will sharpen you up a little bit. It'll maybe. sharpen you up a little bit. Plus, it'll make holding all those different muscle groups so much easier. Yeah. Like just a week of practicing this, you're gonna feel so much more different next week when you're doing the poses. It's like you'll see muscles you didn't see before because you have so much more control. Right. The cardio has been like the weirdest part. Like I've, I haven't really done like you know this amount of cardio, this yeah. extent. Are you doing um? Are you doing stuff on machines? Or are you doing like the, all the stuff we've gotten here? Ma mainly machines. Yeah, mainly okay. like uh, like I'm on like I'm either a treadmill or step mill. You know, um, that old school step mill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nothing makes you sweat like that thing. Nah, you, and like that's the thing though. When you get leaner and leaner. You want to do this type of cardio less and less because you're just feeling tired all the time. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you see these guys like walking on treadmills. And they're like moving all slow. Because that's all they can do. They're, they're so, moving they're like so dead.